now before trying any troubleshooting steps if you have the game on steam in that case you can use epic games launcher in google you can type in epic games launcher and install epic games launcher from the website and once installed you can launch epic games launcher you can search the game in epic games launcher and once you have the game you can add the game to library and then you can launch it from here now if you have the game on epic games launcher in that case you can try steam you can search the game in steam and then launch the game from here next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website scroll down select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver over here and then click on view now you will see the download option click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file once you run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then you can click on next let the installation complete once this is complete then restart your computer restart is a must after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so you can go to the wherever the game is installed you can in for steam users here this is the location and then open the marvel games folder and then select marvel and then click on add once the game is added so you can scroll down and find the game in the list so once the game is added now you can just click on this down arrow and then you select high performance over here and you will see your graphic card and now click on add desktop app once again open this marvel folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add now scroll down and find the game in the list now once you find the game select high performance nvidia card or your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to make sure your graphic card is supported to play the game if it is not supported you will receive direct x 12 error so make sure your graphic card is supported and if the game is running on integrated graphic card like intel then you may receive this direct x 12 now for this you can just follow the steps from this step and make sure the game is running on dedicated graphic card next step is to run steam as an administrator so you can just close steam go to steam and then click on exit once steam is closed now type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and once steam is up and running now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run launcher as an administrator now for this you can go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder scroll down you will find the launcher over here so here you can see Mar marvel rivals launcher and then you can just make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check you can even make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can uncheck administrator from the exe file now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files this is important try this so once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have 
allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security in windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe file so go back um, just select all the exe file select even the launcher and everything select everything from here all the exe file and also open marvel game select this exe file click on add and allowed app browser apps and then open marvel binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app and then click on browse go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder so and then select all the exe file everything in my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and select everything. Again, click on browse, and then everything, all the exe file. Again, click on browse. Once you add it, uh, you have to click on add. Once it is, make sure that you click on add, and then open Marvel game. Select this exe file, and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on browse and then open this Marvel binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now click on add so in my case I have already added all the exe file once the games are game is added all the exe files are added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to enable GPU debug mode in launcher so if you are able to launch the launcher then in the launcher uh, at the top right here you can see gear icon settings i can click on it and then if this is unchecked we say start with gpu debug mode you can put a check check on start with gpu debug mode and then you can confirm and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to empty crash folder now for this you can go to this location so open file explorer on your computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items then open app data folder open the local folder find the marvel folder open this folder open saved folder now over here you can see crashes folder so this is the folder yeah crashes open this crashes and then make our select everything and then delete it go back and then again go back i'm um, sorry open this config folder and then open this crash report client folder and delete this all the saved settings will be lost may be lost now once this is done now you can launch the game and then check now if that does not work you can even delete this complete config folder you will lose all the saved settings so you can make a right click and then you can delete the config folder and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this next step is to disable control flow guard for the game now for this type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection and then go to program settings and then click on add program to customize click on the plus icon choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder so once you go to the game installation folder open open the game folder open marvel game folder select this exe file click on open once you select it you will see this pop up scroll down once you find this control flow guard in your case this would be unchecked so it, in my case i have already i already did it so i will show you what needs to be done so once you select the game exe file you will see this power now scroll down you will see control flow guard 
if in your case this would be unchecked so put a check on override system settings and if this is on by default this is on so you can turn this off turn this off and then hit apply click on yes again click on plus icon choose exact file path open this marvel binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again this will come up now scroll down and put a check on overwrite system settings put a check over here and then turn off this if this is on you can turn this off make sure this is off and then hit apply click on yes to allow and now you, you have to restart the game launch the game once again next step is to now this is for nvidia users disable shader cache size in nvidia control panel so open nvidia control panel so for this go to the desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel now once nvidia control panel is open go to manage 3d setting 3d settings and then go to global settings and over here find scroll down and find shader cache size and by default driver default would be selected so over here you can disable this select disable option once you select disable at the bottom right you will see the apply option hit apply once it is applied now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can put the driver default back if it's not working so try this disable it and then check if not working set it to default now the next step is to turn off nvidia overlay now for this open nvidia app now once nvidia app is open you can go to settings and then if the option which says nvidia overlay is on you can turn this off and then you can launch the game and then check disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and in the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off and then launch the game also close other overlay application like if you're using discord you can go to discord settings and turn off overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner running revert tuner running close it and then check so close all the overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has worked for a few players so it might work for you so i'll show you what needs to be done and i'm showing for nvidia so you can go to nvidia website and then once you go to the website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select the right operating operating system and then click on find and then on this page scroll down and then click on view more version and then you can try previous graphic card driver or maybe this one so click on view and then you can click on download but once you download it once you run the exe file during the installation select custom and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to now the next step is to install direct x file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see download option click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file so just run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on agree accept next uncheck bing bar next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to turn off vpn so if you're using you can turn it off if that does not work you can even turn it on and then check for many users this has worked so you can try this next step is to set windows power plan to power saver now this has also worked for many players so you can just type in control panel in window search box and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options and over here you will see power saver option so you will see power saver like this so select power saver and then check you can even try balanced or high performance and check which one is working fine for you but for many players selecting power saver has worked so you can try this now the next step is to 
install the game to SSD. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can just uninstall the game. Now after the uninstall, you can install the game and install the game to C drive. So if the C drive is SSD, try to install the game to SSD and then check. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, then launch the game first. So once you launch the game, you can go to settings and then go to settings over here and then select window mode. So if this is set to like full screen and you can try by default, it should be borderless. So you can try different things. So try window mode. Now, if the resolution is set to 4K, in that case, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And if you're using NVIDIA DLSS, in that case, you can set this to balanced or quality and then check. Now I'm not using it. So I will just set it to default, but if you're using this, so let me restore the settings. For me, I will just keep it Epic TSR, but if you're using NVIDIA DLSS, set it to quality. And for me, it's this is the window mode and I will lower down graphics settings, the resolution, confirm. Now scroll down and if the frame generation mode is on, I will just turn this off, scroll down and I will limit the FPS to 60 over here, apply, graphics, now, if everything is set to ultra, you can set it to high or you can even set it to medium. In my case, I've set it to low and then apply the settings and then check the performance. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals or any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect all kind of USB adapter which you're not using. Extra controller connected, disconnect it. If you have multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services running, uh, close it. If you have undervolted your com computer, then remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So, we will open calculator. So, type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I've converted this in megabyte 
megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now this is important. So go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here. You can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and download x64 run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install now download this x64 file as well now run this exe file as well if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button click on install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed, now restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So whichever brand you have, go to your manufacturer website, select your model number and then install the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So simply make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then reinstall the game to C drive if that is SSD. So install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. In that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.